Hey, it's Mark. If your phone's having trouble connecting to 5G, there may be a number of reasons why that's happening. In this video, I'm going to show you some troubleshooting tips so you can get back on a 5G network and get those speeds that you're looking for. Some of the initial issues may be that there's not 5G coverage in your area. Maybe you're in a rural area. Maybe the 5G network is saturated and it's just not connecting. Other issues could be that maybe your phone is just not 5G compatible. Maybe you've bought your phone overseas and brought it to a new place and it's just not connecting to that network. Sometimes Chinese phones that are brought into the US or another country may have issues for that as well. So here's a checklist of some things you can check. Um, you can diagnose the problem. Hopefully it'll fix it for you. Um, one of these is likely to work if your phone is 5G compatible and you're in an area where you can get an actual 5G signal. First thing to check is just make sure your phone has 5G enabled. So I'm on an Android device here. Um, you could also check on an iPhone. It's a little different going into the settings. But on an Android, you click on Network and Internet in the settings, and then Sims right there. And within Sims, I'm using Google Fi. This will be different if you're on Verizon, T-Mobile, whatever. You click on that, and then you can just see down here on Preferred Network Type. So if I click on that, mine says 5G recommended. If it was clicked on LTE or 3G, I could just switch it over to 5G. That would be one thing to check initially. Another quick and easy thing to try is to flip airplane mode on or off. So sometimes that'll just reset the connection for you there. So on this Android phone, I can, I've got it in my quick settings already, airplane mode. I can just turn it on. Um, so that will keep Wi-Fi on, but it will turn off the cellular network. Um, and then I can flip airplane mode off and that will turn the cellular network back on. So you can see there if you turn it back on, if you're connected or not to 5G. Another thing to try is check your carrier's coverage map. For myself, I'm on Google Fi. So I just go onto Google and look up Google Fi coverage. On here, you can check your coverage in key areas. So let's say you're going to Newport Beach. You can check your coverage. Um, that says 5G right there. So put in an address, location, zip code, etc. This is Google Fi, but all of the networks have coverage maps like T-Mobile, etc. So you can just open up the carrier map, just make sure you've got coverage of where you're at at that moment. You can also check for carrier outages of 5G coverage. So that will differ by carrier. Just search on your carrier map search for outages in your area, etc. Sometimes social networks like Reddit or others will have outages posted um, for 5G. Also be sure that 5G is included in your carrier plan. So it's possible that you got like a cheap plan or someone ripped you off or I don't know what the reason would be, but you might not even have 5G covered, covered in there. You'd have to look up your plan, read the details, or call someone, but you'd be on hold for a while, most likely. Um, just make sure that 5G is included in your plan. Another thing to look at is to make sure that your phone actually supports 5G carrier bands. So you may have bought a cheap phone, you know, maybe it's a knockoff version. It doesn't even support 5G bands. Maybe it's an older one that only had 4G, 3G, etc. in their LTE. Um, but it may be the phone itself. If you're using a, a newer phone or a Pixel phone, most of the Samsung phones, you should be fine, or an iPhone. Um, but just make sure that's not the issue. You can also scan for operating system updates. You know, maybe your phone's operating system um, is ready for an update and there was a, an issue, a known bug, why it's not connecting to 5G. On a Pixel phone, to check for updates, you go into your settings here, and then you go to System down there, and there's one that says Software Updates. Um, so mine says my Pixel is up to date, so I can probably check this off as that's not the issue. I'm connected to 5G here anyways, but if I wasn't, just make sure it's up to date. And if it's not, run an update and allow for a little time. It might take like 10 or 15 minutes to update the system on your phone. You can also try to force a carrier settings update. On an iPhone, you'd go to settings, general, and about. 
Um, but on an Android phone, you can go into your settings, and the easiest way to find this is just search in your settings there and type in carrier settings right up top. So if you click on carrier settings, if there is an update available, it'll probably prompt something on there for you. And if you have an option to update your carrier settings, mine says preferred network type 5G, for example, um, you can look through all the settings. And if there's an option to update that, that may solve your issue right there. As a last resort, if none of these things have worked for you so far, you may have to reset your network settings on your phone. So if you do this, you're gonna to have to put in your passwords again. It might be a little bit of a headache for you, but if, that, if nothing else has worked, this may be your, your last solution. So to do that, you go into your settings, and then you go down to system in there, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see reset options. So there's one that says reset, Reset mobile network settings right up top. You just click on on that and this will you can erase the sims if you want reset the settings I'm not going to do that now because then I'd have to put my Passwords back in and it would take some time um, But if nothing else has worked this could be a last resort for you to try I hope this video is helpful and that you're able to get back on a 5g network so that you can watch the, stream those videos online or listen to music audiobooks whatever use your maps um, get those speeds that you're looking for. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.